Polly Diamond and the Magic Book by Alice Kuypers Illustrated by Deanna Teldano Chapter 1 Reading There are comprehension questions at the end of the chapter to answer as a class or individually. Chapter 1 Today, something amazing is going to happen. Amazing things always happen in threes. Day 1 On Friday, my teacher, Ms. Hairball, told me my color poem was fantastic. Day 2 On Saturday, my pet rock, Stoneface, smiled at me. I saw him. I swear. Today is Sunday. Day three. So yes, today is going to be amazing. Super fantastic. I start a list on a blank sheet of paper. I love writing lists. To-do list for a super fantastic day by Polly Diamond. Write a story. Paint my bedroom. Discover a secret treasure. Travel somewhere no one has ever been. More than writing lists, I love writing stories. A Story About a Perfect House by Polly Diamond My house is too teeny. My parents say it's cozy, but it's not. Our house is stuffed full. Our house probably feels like it has eaten too much food. Burp. And we have a new baby coming any day. When he comes, the house will be even more stuffed. Mom says Anna and I have to share a room now. So we have a room for the baby. Yuck! We need a bigger house. We need lots of rooms. A perfect house would. I hear a drum roll and a trumpet blast at the front door. Everybody says I'm imaginative, but I definitely heard a drum roll and a trumpet blast. Maybe it's a caterpillar army on the march. Or a hedgehog band. Or an armadillo performing a circus trick. Yes, that's it, an armadillo. I run to open the door. It's way better than an armadillo. It's a package. I pick it up. It's hard, thin, and flat. It's wrapped in pretty polka dot paper. In the corner, a gold stamp reads, Special Delivery from the Writing and Spelling Department. Below that, in letters as bubbly as clouds, it says, For Polly Diamond! My heart skips rope. I rip open the wrapping. Inside, is a turquoise leather book. Turquoise, the best. My glasses are turquoise. My sneakers are turquoise. My favorite pen is turquoise. Also, not everybody can spell turquoise, but I can. I love words that are hard to spell. I open the book. A writing and spelling book for Polly Diamond. I wish my writing looked like that. Mine is as messy as my bedroom. I flip through the rest of the book. All the other pages are blank. Back in the kitchen, I hunt for my pen. I'm always looking for my stuff. I wonder if sometimes my things scurry around the house like busy mice. Where's my pen? Aha! I slide it from behind my ear. As I write, I try to make my letters as neat as possible. This book belongs to Polly Diamond. Whoa! A bizarre baffling thing happens. Under my name, a tiny black dot pops onto the page. Slowly, the dot moves. All by itself. It becomes the letter H. I touch it. 
as I take my finger, another letter appears. An E, an L is next, then another L, then an O. Then, like a sprinter rushing to finish the race, it spells my name, followed by an exclamation mark. Hello, Polly Diamond. The book is writing back to me. Chapter One Questions Synonyms are words that have the same meaning as another word. What are some synonyms that mean the same as these words from Chapter One? Fantastic, teeny, stuffed, yuck, bigger, imaginative, rip, hunt, scurry, baffling, sprinter. Polly says she likes to write stories. Are you like Polly in this way? Explain why. Yes, I like to write stories like Polly because... If you do like writing stories, what genre do you like to write? For example, mystery, adventure, scary, fantasy, funny, or science fiction. Explain why. Or, no, I am different than Polly because I do not like to write stories. My reasons are, if you don't like writing stories, what are some ways you could become interested to write? For example, if you used voice to text writing or picking a topic that interests you. If you could do these things, what would you write about? Explain your thinking. What are two character traits or adjectives, words that describe someone or something you would use to describe Polly in chapter one? Explain your thinking using evidence from the chapter and your own personal knowledge. Start the sentence off with, the first character trait or adjective I would use to describe Polly is, I think this because. The second character trait or adjective I would use to describe Polly is, I think this because. A list is a series of items. A list can be written in a sentence using commas or one item word underneath each other, starting at the left margin. In the story, Polly says she loves to write lists. What are some lists you or your family write? Why do you or people write lists? Write down a list for a purpose that would be helpful for you. Polly got an exciting package in the mail. Have you ever received an exciting letter or package in the mail before? If yes, describe it. Who sent it to you? Where did it come from? How did you feel when you opened it? If you have not gotten anything in the mail before, what do you wish you could receive? Who would have sent it to you? Where would it have come from? How would you feel if you opened it? 